Hello. Um, we are on to day six, I believe, now. Um, I've had some snifflies, allergies coming back from being in the warmth, and then the moist New York uh, rainy atmosphere with the moldy leaves and stuff has definitely given me some uh, itchy eyes and runny nose and all that but actually I had allergies going to Alabama too for the first couple days or first week or so so it was kind of I was a little bit surprised but like it makes sense um I've gotten some setup going on in the studio room and I'm liking it so far it needs a little bit of work still but there's and there's a lot of clutter that I'm still going through but like this is kind of the general situation right now is just a little nook um desk area and then it'll change a lot but I'm so happy to have something of a setup and by the end of the day I should have a general layout um, pretty much settled until I want to change it around again. But that was kind of the whole point was to make it a space that could be shifted and moved however I wanted it to fairly easily, which, you know, yeah, it shouldn't be a big deal if I want to switch things around. Um, it shouldn't take more than a day to shift anything or, you know do all that but I'm super stoked to get started on some just fun projects in this space and bring you guys along with me and hopefully get a recording set up uh, of some sort I haven't really figured that out yet if anybody has uh, recommendations or like uh, things that cut costs for people who film a lot of video content and also is uh, produces quality content like should I get uh, audio something or should I just get a camera that has good audio um, laptop wise my MacBook is getting really close to uh, like six years old now seven maybe and it's trusty it really is but for video content it's just been such a hassle and pain for me unless I'm going straight from my iPhone to YouTube basically so if I have to use iMovie at all if I have to do anything like that it just sucks and doesn't work for some reason or something goes wrong in the process and I just I'm so impatient when it comes to editing and stuff because my whole thing is just is the creation part like I'm fine with sitting here and talking on camera but I'm not fine with sitting down and trying to clip and edit and all that stuff that's why a lot like my videos that are up so far all I've done is clipped video the videos that I took together without any editing whatsoever like no cutting no pasting no anything and that's how I'd like to keep it for the most part because I don't think um, it's a huge hindrance or problem. I'm gonna set this up here, see if it works. Wow, I have my hands. Um, but actually that's really cool. That works out well. But anyway, uh, yeah, I'm gonna get to work for today. Um, I'm not sure if I'll get to any artsy projects or anything, but if I do, that's awesome. And also, uh, I hope to offer some more interesting projects and stuff DIYs uh, uh, just days in my life like things that I do and create and ideas that I have um, I have also some like some of the stuff that I find in the antiquing and uh, whatever it is that I do like selling resale type environment some of the stuff that I find is super cool but some of it's super random and not sellable but it's like it could lead me down a rabbit hole of information is what I'm thinking and I really love 
research. I used to do that. I actually went to school for environmental science for a little while before I was like, yeah, fuck college, woo, um, because I didn't want to be in debt. Anyway, that's another discussion that I definitely could have. Um, but anyway, I've got to make this quick because there's a lot of clips. So, uh, yeah, I was thinking of taking some of the random papers or like old uh, notes or old books or anything and like finding information correlating to that subject matter and then going down the rabbit hole of like what that brought me to as far as knowledge and history and in the present and whatever else. I also have a really large interest in um, researching like corporate uh, fraud basically or like corporations and their monetary positioning also allowing them to have say in other aspects of society that they shouldn't based on law but they're allowed to like corruption and conspiracy is a big part of uh the things that i like to know about or learn about so those are also videos that i might get to eventually with research and stuff um it's hard because i have so many different aspects and things that i love the idea of doing but I have to get to all of them <laughs> and it's like it's gonna take a little while so first I have a bunch of stuff stockpiled up that I want to create new things out of I have to get a sewing machine set up soon and figure that out and do some real learning on that to get really good at it so that I don't go I don't know most of you probably don't know if you're watching this but I had a on my Instagram I had a huge rant video of me going crazy over sewing machines breaking and me taking an hour to try to fix it and then it breaking again and I was just like full rage mode but uh overall yeah it was not good and I stopped using a sewing machine for months but I am finally ready to get back into it to make my life a shit ton easier because hand sewing does not cut it when you're making full outfits but um Anyway, I've went off for long enough. I'm gonna go and I'll see you next time.